the court of appeal in Nigeria has officially confirmed that the presidential election petition tribunal will deliver judgment on petitions challenging Bola Tenubu's election victory on Wednesday, September 6, 2023. The court, the court added that interested television stations will be allowed to transmit judges live. Sarah reporters earlier on Monday reported that the PEPT in Abuja has said September 6 as the date is to deliver judgments on petitions challenging the elections, election of President Tinubu. In May, Sarah reporters reported that the tribunal made the petitions submitted by the various political parties while giving the pre-hearing report on the petition and presenting the trial schedule. It also reserved judgments on the petitions filed by the Allied People's Movement, APM, and Atiku Abubakar of PDP in order to deliver the judgments on the same day as that of Peter B of the Labour Party. Well, maybe that is the reason why this woman has been speaking for some, for some, you know, in the past 24 hours or 46, 48 hours or so, just is uh, Mary Odili. And you can imagine saying that a loser should accept defeat and that Tinubu's a lawyer is a master when it comes to tribunal cases. So what does that tell you? For as many who are discerned in the spirit already know what is about to happen. Of course, there's anxiety. Some people are not bothered. Some people already know what they are going to do. There is palpable tension here and there. The greatest shock of our life as a Nigeria awaits us on Wednesday. I can't wait to watch the full session or full season film on live TV. Jagaban is stepping down. We saw INEC live broadcast and nothing changed the corrupt system. God, let your will be done in this case, on this country. We have so, so suffered in the hands of bad leaders, injustice, corruptions in every sector of this nation. I pray your use of our, use our judiciary to save this nation. They just called for a crucial meeting now. Anything Tinubu like let him discuss with the service chiefs today in that crucial meeting. With this hunger and suffering in our body, we are ready to end everything. Nigeria cannot remain like this. Just the plea, our president is coming soon. All eyes on judiciary. I hope this is not the reason he wants to travel. All eyes on judiciary. Namde Kano will be vindicated. We are calling on the tribunal to deliver its judgment without fear or favor, and the tribunal should be unbiased when making a decision. Are Nigerians expecting any miracle? We wait on the Lord. Our victory is in our hands. Amen. In your hands, Lord. We move with confidence. Let the God's chosen one emerge the winner. I see what they are trying to do. Hmm. The people's giving mandate must be sustainable. Our democracy must move on. One man, one vote have come to stay in our country. All for believing in democracy. God bless you. <laughs> democracy. Okay. So I say now democracy in Nigeria, the practice. Of course, that's what it means. Uh, so the first of people don't go care blood pressure. Let them continue. Everybody just go and breathe yourself up. Because for what we know in this country, eh, forget it. Some people will tell you, forget it. Everyone gets your PVC because a rerun is starting. Okay. Bias judges. Which of the winners is it this week or the ones coming after this week? Okay. Well, congratulations to me. My friend Merit will attend. I thought it's on the systems. What is it going to bring for you? The beautiful one is not yet born. We cannot wait. New era on my bed. The witch of the Wednesday, this Wednesday, that's on the sixth. Yes, live brokers at least at the judgment day. Anyways, no announcement will be new to us. Congratulations to President Tinumbu in advance. <laughs> uh -uh. Why congratulating him now? Is the president already now? So it's just for you to continue what he has already dished out for you since he he was sworn in. They have positioned the real winner first. Obi is the man comes then. Which live broadcast are they talking about? I thought uh, they are nightmares. Nigeria, INEC, and judiciary. 
Nigerians are waiting. The other day, when they were, the election was, I mean, the, the cases were going, they say, oh, there is no way they are going to broadcast this live. So why live now? Okay, that is the meaning of the question. Live broadcast, the military will take over after the John Gu ruling. Can the truth be delivered in our country? They will, they will just read papers as usual and affirm to the president that is all that they want to do. No normal judicial thing in Nigeria. No expectations. It goes soon clear for all our eyes. Jagaban the winner with bullion van. <laughs> mm, maybe it will be so So now it's safe to announce live broadcast. Yes, so all the best. I beg. May I forget all this Nigeria judiciary be cool. Hey, everybody, go and breathe yourself up. We hope for fair judgments. Hmm. May Peter Obi succeed. I pray according to your prayer, according to whatever you wish. Even Bubu could not even be removed by the courts. Which Wednesday, Peter Obi all the way. Wasting of time. Four years. Why the brokers for the judgments? This is a question Nigeria has to I have to ask. God is watching all eyes on judiciary, palpable pension, palpable tension here and there. Okay.